It's time you wake up. Wake up. It's time to wake up. It is shown enough your time to wake up. Who wake up? Who wake up? Who it is your time? Listen, wake up all oh, what you're going through. I don't think you know what you're going through. This change just got a hold on you. I don't think you know what's going on with you. You, God is giving me the word, and I just want to get it on out to you. So listen, cause here I am. What in the world is going on the shift? Uh, what in the world is going on to change? Uh, what in the world is going on? I just want to get it on out to yo. What in the world is going on to shift? What in the world is going on to change? What in the world is going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I am so glad <laughs> to be here with you today. Listen, I have been sick. My son and I, we have been under the weather. He's still sick, but I am feeling better, as you can see. I want y'all to just think about something today. That it was the plan of the enemy to totally erase your existence. Think about that. It was the plan of your adversary to totally erase the fact that you existed. You have to pay attention to words because words are things. Thoughts are things. Words produce a certain outcome. It was the goal of your enemy to black you out. I want you to think about that today. It was the goal of your enemy to black you out. See, for a very long time, many of us in the Western world, we fell for the lies that have been portrayed or bestowed upon us through the programming, through the telegraphic programming, through the religious programming, through the programming in our society. We were just programmed to not question a thing. Now, one of the things that I really love about you is that you are independent thinkers. You are chosen ones. That means that you never felt for what was really going on, period. I know it was a time in your life, even as a child, that you question why we did some of the things that we do and why this particular group of people were totally erased. This particular group, though, memory was totally vanished. I want you to understand this is today. You were supposed to never wake up. You were never supposed to research your information. You were never supposed to really pull back the layers of what they tried to black out. See, the time of the celebrity through the television controlling humanity has expired. See, they never expected for us common civilians to really wake up to our true potential and who we are in God. They never expected for us to take the eraser that they tried to put on our name, that they tried to put on our existence, what, what they tried to put on our power. They never expect for us to put it under a microscope and see who we sincerely really are. See, the devil wants to lie to you to convince you that you're something that you're not. They want to convince you of who you are in this environment. But God said that I came so that you could have life and so that you could have it more abundantly. I came to reveal to you the mysteries of who you sincerely are. You're more than just your name. You're more than just your title. You're more than just the family that you land into. And the most significant part of you, they wanted to black completely out. They wanted to erase. They never wanted you to stand on business 
business and really know who you are in this environment. But I came a little bit early this morning because I'm feeling some kind of old way. And I wanted to remind you of who you are. I want to remind you that you always have existed and there's no way in hell that they can take up a, a Sharpie and black you out. They can't black you out of your inheritance. They can't black you out of your promotions. They can't black you out of your opinion. They can't black you out when it comes to your rights. They can't black you out when you stand on one accord with him. They can't black you out to anything or for anything that is supposed to be revealed in you. So as you go on about your day on today, I want you to sit back and I want you to think about what your enemy did with a Sharpie to try to erase you in various areas of your life. If you just look back, you can look and pinpoint one main area that the enemy tried to erase. Some of us, it's our identity. Some of us, it is our history. Some of us, it is our lineage. Some of us, it's our original spiritual practices. Some of us, it is that promotion. Some of us, it is our rights. Some of us, it is the lies that they wanted to tell you so that they could control you. And now they understand that the lies have fallen flat, that God has quickened the earth. He has resuscitated this earth and things are beginning to shake and fall apart. He has resuscitated your soul and you have aligned to the information of the truth. He has resuscitated you for you to understand that ain't no way in hell that they can ever erase a force, a spiritual force, a spiritual thing in nature that controls chosen individuals in this environment. It's no way in hell that they can ever get away with erasing you. So as you go on about your day to day, I want you to think about that. Think about how powerful you are, how powerful our Father is in heavenly places. And know this, that they tried to black you out and fell flat. And until the next video, guys, mm -hmm, peace, because I still be believing in you right now.